What's goody? It's your boy S6, man. I appreciate y'all for joining me here in the six shop. I got any boogers, you know, anything like that. I don't know. You know, and I think I'm good. You know, I got the Corona scruff going on right now, man. It's it's hard out here. Y'all know it. Uh, My boy said my shirt look like a Martin rerun. Damn. Joke's on him, though. That's a compliment. I ain't even gonna take that as a score. That's a compliment. Ha! Man, enough of all that. I know why y'all here. I know why you here. You here to increase your workflow. And everybody talking about workflow. Workflow this, workflow that. Well, let me put my little spin on workflow. And let me try to help y'all out, man. That's what I'm gonna do. So, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button. I don't even know if I'm gonna have the little buttons up here. All right, but it look good. Hey, hit. Hey, just do it. Help me help you. You feel what I'm talking about? But enough of all that. Let's get into it, man. Yo, so we gonna get right into this because this is about the, let's just say I done made this video a couple times, you feel me? <laughs> hey, struggling. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Different TV though, because I, I watched one of his videos, probably an old video, man. Um, but it got me to at least this point where I can shape. I'm, I'm only on window capture, so that's why I'm gonna just show y'all the templates, but I'm gonna get right. If y'all want to see how I actually made these templates and y'all want to see kind of the breakdown, man, let me know. I'm going to get it right. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. So this is the indie template and we'll go over why it's the indie template. But you, when you download the folder, you're going to get two templates. All right. The indie template and the, uh, the base template. This is the indie template, the individual one. But the channel rack is going to be the same. So you have all your instruments. They're already routed to the mixer channels. Um, all your drums, they're grouped. Um, like I said, I'm in window capture, so I can't show you. But if you go up, up to your groups, like where it says all, and you click on that, there's going to be two groups. There's going to be drums and instrumentals. So just another way to organize. Um, if you're making a loop or whatever, just instruments, you can go to your instrument group. Boom. There you go. All right. Go over to the mixer channel. You obviously see my vocals. Once again, I've made this video several times. We leaving that in, man. <laughs> I don't even care, yo. <laughs> hey, I promise y'all, the the editing level will increase, uh, but not today. So <laughs> anyway, man, y'all see, I got my instruments all laid out, and they're they're um, okay. Let me give y'all this free game. So they're all route it to an instrument bus okay um if you struggle with mixing and mastering like i have for years <laughs> and then you you listen to me right now and your your mixing and mastering is going to take a very good turn for the better because one of the main things that you should do is send all of your instruments to a bus if you don't agree and you're in the comments you're like no you don't do it like that i, I don't even I'm not a mixing and mastering engineer. I'm going to just tell you <laughs> to make your beats loud on YouTube. <laughs> send all of your instruments to a bus. Get that bus to, you know, whatever decibels you like. I'm like around negative nine or negative 10 for my instruments and then send it over to the master. So now you don't have to even worry about um, how loud each individual sound is. You you mix these to get them to your how you like them and then you send it to the bus and that'll raise or lower the volume to a, an actual decent level and then you put it to the master okay and then on the master i have the fruity balance because i don't remember where i i was watching you a, a video and i'm gonna find out because I, I i i'm gonna go into history and find out who put me on game to this but you put your fruity balance in there and then you just change the volume right here okay and you get that to that's how you get your headroom. So you send both you send everything to the master how you want it, you know, the levels and, and the different levels between the instruments and the drums. Then you send it to the master and you just autumn you you get your headroom that way. All right. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but it sounds way better than what how I was doing it. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. So anyway, you see it's the same thing with all your drums. They're all routed to one drum bus okay do the same thing most of the time on my drum bus it's, it's a soft clipper on there i ain't gonna lie <laughs> that's it um you you also have your sins so there's reverb you can obviously change this this is, i just made it all stock but you can obviously change this like my ambient sin would be rc20 <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know hey hype beast man i put that rc20 on 
almost everything. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, you know what I mean? Same thing. A gross beat wouldn't use it. I use half time, but you know, it's there. I don't I ain't even put gross beat on there. You can put gross beat on there. And basically what a send is, if you don't know, is instead of putting, you know, uh, effect on every single instrument, if you're using the same effect like reverb, you're probably going to have reverb on your clap. You might have reverb on your hi-hat, reverb on your snare, the crash. Instead of putting, you know, that effect on each of these channels, you just have a send. And then like, you know, you can right click on the, this send right here. And then side change of this track and then this add, you know, that that desired effect to your individual channel. So another free game, man. Um, trust me, this type of stuff is we're talking about workflow. All of this is workflow. So instead of going here, I'm going to add reverb here and then I'm going to go to my hat and add reverb. You know, you add one reverb and then you just send all your channels to that one. All right. Um, but the reason why. This is called the individual template is because of the playlist. OK, so it's already arranged individually. You have all your separate patterns arranged into a, a common arrangement, at least for me, a 12 bar verse hook, 12 bar verse hook. Bridge hook outro. OK, you call it different things like I call I, I, I always like to have a breakdown before my chorus for the most part. Um, just where I'm taking out some sounds and, you know, like you, you, I switch up the kicks in the 808s. I wouldn't just use one kick pattern, one 808 pattern, but, you know, to each his own. And all you would do is just come over here, control shift C. And then, bam, now you got to you can switch your pattern right here, you know, uh, too easy. But. And my phone going off and that's staying in, too. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all. Uh, like I said, damn, uh, we're going to say a couple times, but this video has been made before dropping stuff. It's all staying in. This is the behind the scenes in front of the scenes. I uh, no cap, <laughs> no cap city, cap, cap city. <laughs> Y'all see, man, this is raw and unedited. Um, but yeah, let's see what else. That's pretty much it. The base. That's going to be the difference. I ain't even going to go into the base, man. Y'all just hey download it and you can see for yourself yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> boy I did, i'm off the rails man i'm sorry i promise y'all i'm i'm usually more professional and i talk with my slow jam voice usually hello welcome to slow jams 99.5 we are going to listen to boys to men mama run that dj Mama. Okay, this is going. <laughs> this is going somewhere totally different. All right, but yeah, y'all get it. Um, before I get up out of here, man, please leave a like, comment, um, subscribe, hit the bell, ding dong. Who's there? It's me, bell button. Um, all that good stuff. Oh, before I get out of here, a hey, why this is helpful. Okay, um. As you can see, I don't got a bunch of subscribers. I don't have like this huge internet presence, but I do work with a lot of artists, local artists, especially different things like that and make and make pretty good money, make decent money working with artists in, in the studio. And one thing that I will tell you in my experience is that the more prepared you can be to make things very quick <laughs> when you're actually with an artist and you're in the same room, the better. So Things like this, this template will help you create very quickly, you know, loops, midis, all those things. So like for me, I already have loops and that I make that I, I get from packs, different things like that. I got a loop kit in the description that you can do. Right. So now you're in there with artists. You put that loop in there and then you already start creating a vibe. You make a drum pattern one time and you create a midi for it. Right. And now you can go back to if you make a basic one, do Dooch, dooch, dooch. Now you go back in there and you got that and you just add different kicks. You add 808s. Like, you know what I mean? You make MIDI, make make loops and do all that stuff because it's going to be really, really, really helpful when you're in the studio with artists because they don't want to see you clicking in. They don't want to see you arranging the beat, right? A lot of artists think that a beat is a loop. <laughs> they don't want to see you like, oh, I'm going to, they want, they're going to tell you at what point to drop something out. <laughs> like, that's it. 
they don't want to see you like going through and arranging this and doing that. So that's why you have it already arranged. You can obviously switch it, but you know, this is you, you have it. You're like, all right, I know where the course is at. I'm all these different things. So, um, yeah, that's just where I'm going with that. So, um, also, like I said, shout out to Mr. Different shout out to MG, the future, man. I learned a lot from his channel, uh, bro beats. Um, there's plenty more, man. I got more videos to come. If I, I believe in that, you know, if I learn something from you, I'm definitely going to um, encourage other people, you know, those three right there, I've definitely learned stuff from. So I would encourage you if you're interested in different things, learning more about music to go to their channels. There's plenty more, man. You you guys know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It was a SH Sugar Honey Ice Tea show. <laughs> Y'all know what that is. Um, yeah. We outie though. Man, I appreciate y'all. If y'all here this long, man, that's love. <laughs> Cause it ain't been, it ain't been the slow jam voice. It really hasn't. It hasn't been all wrapped up and pretty in a bow. But I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me. And, and I got more stuff coming for y'all, man. So thank you. Like I said, hit that button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get it.